Hi everyone, this is the E-mini NASDAQ. I'm using a 1000 tick chart and a 21 EMA. I've got my overnight high up here and my overnight low down here. These are our key levels for the day. So I started trading at eight central time, which is this area right here. And notice that we have this uptrend break and a push up to a new high. So this uptrend is considered played out at this point because it has a break in a new extreme. This is how trends play out. So on a downtrend, um, when a downtrend gets a break, you can expect price to attempt a new low. And so anyway, after this, a push up to a new high, you still have this measured move in play. And so price is likely going to attempt to try to reach it. Now, if you push below the EMA here, like we do, then you can just look for a reversal pattern. If price does hold below, then you can just reverse from these two legs. Price is not always going to reach the measured move. But when we form this reversal pattern here, notice we have first entry long and then second entry long failure. It rushed above the EMA, it didn't hold below. The entry is still above the EMA. This is really not an ideal, um, you know, failed second entry. It's not an ideal reversal pattern. You would want to see a rush below and then a couple clear legs back and then a clear entry back below the EMA, not it holding above. Also, when it with this spike up, it's just so bullish getting above the EMA and then forming a swing on top of it. Really not ideal for a, a reversal down. But anyway, it does push on down here. No way to get in on it, but it makes that second leg down. And so these two pushes up led into these two attempts back down. And so we rush back up right here. Now, when we start pushing up here, keep in mind, this measured move is still in play. And so price is likely attempt, going to attempt to reach it. And so if you push up and offer a long entry, you can look to go long. You do have two attempts to reverse here. So you, even though you just came off the overnight high, uh, which is a major key level and you can expect price to try to reach the other side you already have your two attempts so you're good to look for a long if you rush back above now we push above here it doesn't give us that entry it just starts getting choppy at the overnight high and by the way sometimes the overnight high people don't know exactly where to put it now at first i put it right here that is the highest swing in the overnight but we clearly st we're holding right here where it you know fit with this previous swing over here so this is where the overnight high is you know you don't got to worry about it too much sometimes people are worrying about whether to put it within you know an inch of this spot or the next spot um the overnight high levels are about where there's the most resistance and clearly that level is right here but if you left it right here you know it basically acts the same um so anyway, we push up here, we start getting choppy at the overnight high, and then we get this sharp push down. This is a clear rejection of the overnight high. We get this sharp push down, and then when we start pushing back up here, it looks like price is attempting to break out again. But we very quickly start a second leg down. So we have two attempts to reverse from the overnight high. So as soon as we met it, it got choppy and gave us two attempts to reverse. And then notice here, we got a strong reaction right at that measured move. So measured moves are very important levels. It's very common for price to reverse right at them. Of course, you know, I, I was talking about this measured move earlier, saying how price is attracted to it. And that's because it is, these act as magnets. And so at this point here, this down measured move was met and price is immediately reversing, pushing on higher here. And so this looks really good above the EMA. It doesn't trigger at first. It doesn't trigger until over here. But um, this looks like a really great looking trade. Now notice how it made a triple bottom right there. I don't view this as like a complete triple test entry. You know, I really view this whole thing as a triple bottom. Notice you have one clear swing there, another clear swing there, and another clear swing there. This is really just a little, you know, a quick peck of the quick peck of that level after it made that double bottom um, but this whole level right here is clearly one swing on a bigger picture and so anyway that looked good to ride to the other side you of course don't want to push price out of that um, you know it is clear resistance right there so you don't want to expect price to just push on through and so anyway it does bounce right off of it there we retest those lows one more time and just take off again and of course you know I almost forgot to mention this trend line of course you can extend the trend line as each swing forms, see how it holds, ends up pushing above right there. And so you can see, sorry for any noise you hear in the background. So anyway, we push on up here, um, get those couple legs up, and then on this push up right here, you know, you can look to get long um, on the way up here. When you're pushing up off of this trend line right here, and of course these lows right here, if you got a correction, you could have gotten two legs back to that trend line and gotten along before reaching those highs. And, you know, you're clearly making the high, these higher lows, it's not wanting to reverse back down. Even though it's coming off the overnight high, it's still not wanting to push on down. So you can definitely look for a long there, but it just takes on off without a, an entry on that trend line. So anyway, we push on up here and we break out. So we had clear resistance right here and price breaks on out. And now you can expect price to attempt to fade. 
because breakouts lead to fades. Now, you don't just want to buy a breakout just because you're getting a bullish bar closing out of it. You want to wait on two attempts to fade before buying with the breakout, because if price makes two attempts to fade and it still has not successfully fade, faded, then it's likely just going to break out, because um, Again, price is expected to fade, and so after two attempts and it still hasn't done it, then you want to look to get in on the breakout. Now, in this case here, it just fades on in with one leg down. We're immediately back in, and we make this lower high, holding on the overnight high, but it's right off of, or it's right into this trend line right here, so you obviously don't want to enter into that. And so anyway, we push on down here, no clear entries. We, As you can see, we have a couple legs down to the lows right here. We get a little push up. Of course, you don't want to enter long right into that. We are coming off of the overnight high. Even though there's two legs down right there, they're just so sharp and spiking down. I would want to see a clear reversal pattern first, um, you know, like a or a possibly just a push above and then get like a some good higher low of that as long as it's closing out of this trend line. Um, but it ends up just holding right on that EMA and we start pushing on lower here and we get this very sharp drop down. Notice that this trend right here got an overshoot. So this trend we overshot. But you can still tell that it's really one leg down on a bigger picture. It's clearly a spike down. And so we have this downtrend, and then we get a break, and price starts attempting to make a new low. Notice that when we break this downtrend right here, it's a two-legged break, and I can draw off a... That kind of got out of last second there. But um, I can draw off a measured move there. And notice that as soon as that measured move is met, price takes on off and it starts that second leg down. So we have first leg down, two-legged break, and then that second leg down. Now, if these two legs back had formed lower, like say that price had broken out way more and then got two legs back retesting the overnight hot, the overnight low, then we could have gotten a short here, but you don't want to enter short directly into the overnight low, um, especially when you're not off any clear resistance really anyway. But uh, anyway, we push on lower here. Now at this point, even though the downtrend has a break and a new low, you can still expect price to attempt to reach this measured move down here, this measured move down here. And so if you get two legs back retesting the overnight low, you can easily get a short, just like I was mentioning right there. So even though the downtrend has technically played out here, there is a chance for price to attempt to reverse. Again, you know, downtrend played out with a break and a new low, but if price holds on this overnight low, and it pushes back below, then you can look to get short to reach this measured move here. But it just doesn't set up here after that first leg up. It just finds resistance at that EMA. Of course, this is just one leg up right here. You don't want to enter that. Even though before this push down, you can see there's first entry short, second entry short. I understand that to the tick, there's a second entry. I just view this as one clear push up, and then it goes straight sideways. I don't care about each tick that goes by. I care about clear structure breaks and clear clear trends. And so anyway, after that push up here, notice we get this two-legged move down, and then as soon as that two-legged move down is done, it just rushes on up here. And so downtrend, break, new low, small attempt to reverse, which quickly pushed us into a two-legged move down, and then a very sharp push back up, fading this little range right here, got this good-looking higher low with room to the other side. Limit order is needed to get in, to get out of before price reaches the other side. But this is a great area to expect a reversal. We can expect price to attempt to fade the overnight high and of course, or excuse me, the overnight low, and of course continue this fade of this smaller range right here with this good looking entry there. So we continue on up here. And now when we push up here, this is a great place for a reversal pattern because again, we're fading into the overnight high, or excuse, excuse me, the overnight low, and the downtrend has played out with a break and a new low. And so we're pushing on up here. If we could have gotten two clear legs back right here, notice this first leg, if we got a second leg retesting the overnight low, that could have been a great failed second entry. Um, I'm gonna move that just for a second. Um, yeah, something like this right here, first entry short, second entry short failure, retesting the overnight high, or, excuse me, the overnight low. I keep, when you make videos, it's very easy to mix up your terms. This is of course the overnight low. And so, Two legs back, retesting the overnight low, good failed second entry. That could offer us a great long, but it just doesn't happen in this case here. Um, so anyway, we continue on higher here. Nothing to take right here. It's just a first entry, you know, slash higher low that rushed below the EMA and kind of struggled to get back above. Nothing to take there. And we continue on up and we make this second leg up right here. And so now we have these two legs up, but it's clearly one leg on a bigger picture. So a lot of times, you know, you'll get a couple legs up, but on a bigger picture, it'll be one leg. Notice it's neatly fitting in that channel there. 
we can just put this whole thing right there. And so, leg up, clear break, and price has made a new high. So we have uptrend, break, and push up to a new high. I drew this out on the, I was put, doing a post on the website of something that could have happened. Um, you know, because a lot of times what you'll get is a very big picture, failed second entry. And so we push on up, fade back into the overnight, and get two legs back breaking out of this channel here. This is a big picture failed second entry. First entry short, and then second entry short, and then look for the failure down here, of course, to make the new high. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we could have gotten something down there. It just doesn't set up. A lot of times what you'll get is a two-legged break from a trend and then a push above, and then you'll make a you'll form a smaller failed second entry from right here. Um, which you know is still good because it's a long entry while expecting a second big picture leg up But in this case here the trend has already played out Uptrend has a break and a new high and we're at the overnight high finding resistance there Notice this red bar as soon as we reach it So we could easily push into a failed second entry from here to reverse so a reversal pattern just you know standard but what could also happen is if we push lower here even if whether it's a couple attempts or just one leg we could easily make a second big leg at a new high even though this uptrend already has a break in a new high it's very common to get two legs at a new high now again if you get a clear reversal pattern and you're holding below then you want to stick with that but if price struggles to reverse and it's clearly has some kind of bullish you know bullishness forming then you want to stay with that and you want to look to make that second leg a lot of times the first leg like you'll get an uptrend break It'll make a new high breaking out of the overnight and then you can get a retest of the overnight to make that second leg up um but anyway that's going to do it for this video i hope it helped out in some way and thanks for watching i'll see you all next time